Pertama Neil Young, lalu Joni Mitchell. Dua musisi senior menarik lagu mereka dari Spotify memprotes kehadiran podcast Joe Rogan di aplikasi streaming audio yang sama. Rogan adalah seorang komentator yang sering mewawancarai peragu COVID dan peragu vaksinasi. The controversy around Joe Rogan is a test case for Spotify. And it's a really difficult balancing act. On the one hand, it relies upon artists for the vast majority of what it is today. But it relies on podcasts for what it hopes to be the majority of what it will be in the future. Respon Spotify untuk hanya memberi peringatan dan tautan ke sumber informasi menyeluruh mengenai COVID tak memuaskan para musisi maupun ahli medis. We're not, we're not trying to cancel Joe Rogan. We are not trying to have him stop making podcasts. And it's this private company, Spotify, so they can do what they want. I'm just, my, my job as an epidemiologist is to find risk factors for disease and misinformation about the pandemic, about COVID-19 and about the vaccines has been a risk factor for more disease and death throughout this entire pandemic. Pendengar Spotify dan penggemar podcast pun beragam pendapatnya. Neil Young and other artists, you know, they have the right to take their music off. It's their music. They can do what they want. They might not believe what Joe Rogan has to say, but Joe Rogan also has the right to say what he wants to say on his platform. I'm really interested in a lot of historical podcasts and a lot of uh, small arrangements. And thus far, Spotify has been really good about that. However, the problem is... Um, As it becomes uh, more apparent that they care more about money than they do other things, we're having to move. Respons kontroversi ini, Rogan pun meminta maaf dan berjanji mewawancarai narasumber dengan pandangan lebih beragam. Moderasi konten dan perlunya meredam penyebaran misinformasi kembali menjadi sorotan, apalagi di tengah berlangsungnya pandemi. Sebelumnya, aplikasi media sosial termasuk Facebook dan Twitter mendapat sorotan. Dan kedua media sosial tersebut akhirnya mencantumkan peringatan dan juga tautan ke sumber yang bisa diverifikasi bila ada postingan apapun terkait dengan COVID. Kontroversi ini pun akhirnya meluas ke mimbar streaming musik dan podcast. If more artists essentially try to push more of their fans to other places, they don't even need to take their music down from Spotify. They just need to encourage their music fans to listen elsewhere. That is what could dent Spotify's cultural impact. They want to be seen as, ta- you know, taking steps to address the, to, they want to be seen as acknowledging the issue and taking steps to address it. And because honestly, I mean, I think we can all agree, it's the responsible thing to do. Whether or not it's lip service or, you know, substantial action, we'll see. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA. 